It's game two of the World Series. The Rays take on the Dodgers. The promo code of the week is BIG10. B-I-G-T-E-N will save you 20% off our entire site. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. My name is Allie Burns. I've got Chip Chirimbus here with us today, the baseball master. Now, Chip, of course, we don't have any lines out on this game yet. We're not sure who's pitching because they're playing right now as we tape. But I feel like... We've got a pretty good feel for both of these teams. So lay it on me. What do you think about this next matchup? First off, coming off, I'm disappointed I got beaten game seven. I actually t- took a shot with Atlanta there. I thought the price was high. The Dodgers came through and won, and they deserved to be here. The starting pitcher is questionable. I'm thinking most likely the Dodgers are going to come with Walker Bueller. We know that Atlanta, they've already stated that Blake Snell is going to go. Four and two in a regular season, two and two in the playoffs. ERA is 3.2 in both the regular season and in the playoffs so far in the postseason. But the question about Snell is how long and how deep is he going to go into the game? I happen to think that Snell has the kind of style and tools that are going to give the Dodgers problems. He's a left-hander that negates Bellinger to to a degree. I I don't know what the line's going to be here because it may vary off of game one, which is, of course, we don't have a final as of yet. My instincts right here, without a number and just the fact that I know Blake Snell is going to go in game two, is I would lean toward the Braves. If they get beat game one, they're going to be more desperate, of course, but, uh, you know, sometimes some teams just go out and they win four straight. But this is a tough call because we don't have a starting pitcher and we don't have the results of game one. Dodgers are a heavy favorite for the entire series. Uh, came out a little bit bigger uh, favorite than I anticipated. Uh, Tampa has some arms. Tampa can play some baseball. They're one of the best defensive teams in baseball. We've seen that. And the Dodgers, of course, have performed well in the outfield as well. Maybe the under the way to go with these two uh, hurlers they have out there. And uh, Tampa's going to go to the all-staff from the moment they take Blake Snell out and the Dodgers, they've got some strong arms seeing their best right now. Yeah, I mean, if there's one thing that I know about the Rays and have known for years about the Rays, it's that they're completely underrated. <laughs> you know, they are yeah. a really good team. I've said it yeah. before. They're like very methodical. It's get the guy on base, then bring the guy home, catch the ball, make the double play. It's just very wham, bam, basics. There's not a lot of showmanship. There's, It's just we're going out there to get our job done. There's one thing I know about the Dodgers. It's that they can be maybe not overrated, but overvalued. And that's what I look at kind of for this whole series is that is it worth the price that you're going to pay to get the Dodgers against a very good Rays team that just might surprise you? All right. Well, that's your free analytics from Chip Cherimbus and I. We like the Rays, but uh, who can be so sure? Check back tomorrow. We might have something else for you.